Hey man, look at that view. Maybe you've not seen a view like this in quite a while because you haven't stepped outside. But this is the outside world and that sun, that grass, just look how beautiful it is. You could sit here for hours. I hope you've been doing alright, I hope you've been good. I hope you've been productive. But maybe right now things haven't been so great. You look in the mirror, you've not had a productive day, you just think to yourself, why don't I get hose him? Do I have an attractive face? Look, it's embarrassing to say out loud, but every guy has thought of this. And you know what? Some women have thought this as well. Just, am I attractive? Do I have an attractive face? You look in the mirror and you have this really negative set of thinking, this negative mindset. I don't have an attractive face and there's nothing I can do to change that. It wasn't until I actually got on self-improvement and started putting in and adapting to a positive thinking that I actually started thinking, you know what? There is a way I can improve my attractiveness. I can start going to the gym and actually start improving my physical looks. And if I can do that, there must be a way that I can improve my actual facial looks. And there is. I'm going to go through five things that you can do, which actually can, you can actually do and actually make a difference and start to improve your physical, like, and your facial looks. And don't worry, I'm not going to focus things that you can't change, like your eye shape or your fucking nose shape, like some people. Oh, if you've got, you haven't got hunter eyes, you can't look good. Weird. My name is Wada, and I help other young, young men, I cut that. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. The first one is low body fat. The best to aim around for is around 10 to 12, or like 10 to 15% body fat, because when you have this sort of around weight, you tend to have quite a lean body, your abs are kind of showing, and obviously when you start going to the gym and you start working out your muscles and you've actually lost weight, obviously that's going to apply to your jawline. That's going to apply to the weight that you have around your neck. Maybe you've got a double chin. You will want to start going to the gym. I know you might click off already because you don't like the sound that I'm actually telling you to go to the gym. That there's not, that you want the easy way and there's not an easy way. Plus the time's going to pass anyway. So go to the gym lose that weight and when you start going to the gym the biggest thing pe that people don't talk about is that you lose a lot of jawline and like neck fat and you start to get a jawline so first thing aim to have a low body fat and a high muscle mass and you can do this just by exercising cardio going to the gym second one is tongue posture so for this one there's mainly two things you need to focus on breathe through your nose not your mouth because mouth breathers have a terrible head posture and jawline, breathe through your nose and mew. Basically mewing is you should, you, as you're breathing through your nose, you just put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. That's it. And basically that's basically forcing your jawline to go into the correct position because you're actually breathing how you're supposed to, through your nose, not through your mouth. The reason you may have a blocked nose right now is because the body adapts to how you act. So if you never breathe through your nose and you're always breathing through your mouth, your nose is going to be blocked because your body's thinking, well, you don't, you don't use it, you don't need it. So if you actually like force yourself to breathe through your nose, just literally almost like a, as you're meditating, almost like a meditative state as you're sat there closing your eyes, just focusing on breathing on your nose, and it's a little blocked but you can still get air in there, your nose will then, after five minutes, become unblocked. The third thing is your head posture. A lot of us have really bad postures. I used to have a really bad posture. Head posture is important. You probably walk around like like this all the time and one that doesn't look attractive and you'll end up not looking attractive in the face as well. So what you want to do is just keep your shoulders back all the time and as a little exercise that you can do, so you're keeping your shoulders back, your head back, to get your neck and your head, like your head posture actually back chin tucks push your chin in so you're like giving yourself a double chin for two seconds right because you'll feel it burn in like a minute literally just for two seconds do this like every now and then throughout your day and gradually your head posture will actually go back and you'll actually have that 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 straight back and that good head posture and you look far more attractive than a little hunched and gremlin fourth one is neck size a lot of the time when you're working out in the gym you, you look shredded then, but then when you're in summer or like you're walking around in winter, you're wearing clothes and people don't see that. The thing that people see is your face and your neck. 
Now, if you have a really, really skinny, scrawny neck, people tend to think that you're quite a skinny, scrawny guy. They can't help it. It's like an illusion. It's the only part of skin and muscle that they can see. So when they see that you've got a really small neck, they sort of, your mind sort of starts to fill in the blanks that your the rest of the body is the same. So to change this, when you're in the gym, losing that weight, to get to that around 15% body fat, or 10, neck curls. Just do neck curls. It's a great thing to add into your workout, and it gets you a bigger neck. You end up looking bigger and more attractive. The fifth thing and the last thing, and probably, I think maybe the easiest, is face exercises. Now, I'm not going to go with the typical, like, like those to face exercises, I'm talking about just eat harder foods. That's it. That is literally it. Just eat tougher foods. Instead of having this like really pathetic, like, was it pizza, sloppy stuff? Damn, a helicopter loud. Instead of having this sloppy like pizza and like junk food and McDonald's, eat proper, tougher foods. Chicken, nuts, carrots. I love carrots, man. Just get, just eat a raw carrot, man. Just eat tougher foods. You'll end up building face muscles. And also, you're eating healthier. You're not eating that sloppy stuff. You're actually eating healthy foods, which will help you lose weight and will help with the first point. Look, I know this is probably not like the easiest method and it's not a five minute fix. Obviously not. Nothing is like worth it if it's a quick five minute fix. We would all be happy and we're all obviously not. This is going to take a bit of time. But what I mean by a bit of time, it's going to take you like two weeks to see a difference. That's it. Just two weeks. When you think about it in the grand scheme of things, two weeks out of a whole year, that is nothing. And in a year's time, you will probably, if you keep with this, you'll probably look shredded unintentionally. Imagine that. Shredded you in a year's time unintentionally just by going to the gym a little bit more just to make your face look a bit more attractive. If you like this video and you actually do this in uh, for two weeks and you, it helps you out, click on the one in the corner because this could most definitely change your life as well. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Again, you know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.